Hello everyone and welcome back to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress website from scratch. For that, I'm going to use Elementor. Actually, Elementor has launched a new plan which is called Cloud Website. I'm going to use that just to show you how it works. I have been using WordPress since 2012 and have built several websites for myself and for my clients over the years. Here's one of my websites that you are familiar with, which is topitguy.com. It is on WordPress. And for this, I have used Astra Theme plus the number one drag and drop plugin, Elementor. So here's the homepage, which was built using Elementor. See how it looks like. So through this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Elementor as well, because the plan which I'm going to use here is Elementor's cloud website and it comes with a pre-activated Elementor Pro license. So we will talk about it later, but first of all, let's see another website which I have built using the same combination, which is called pythoncoursesonline.com. This was also built using Elementor and one free theme Oshin WP. Here you can see, this also looks great. So through this video, I'm going to show you how you can also build a website using Elementor Cloud website. For these two websites, I used Hostinger and GoDaddy respectively. And both of them work well, but there are so many things that I have to do. I first have to procure the domain name, then I have to choose the hosting and then several other things. So I have to go back and forth between the services. but with Elementary cloud website you get everything included inside a same single subscription and that subscription it costs you around $99 per year nothing more there is no hidden charges so here you can see this is that cloud platform or the plan which I'm talking about which was launched recently so we are on elementary.com features slash cloud and here you can read your complete solution for creating websites get a cloud website let's do that and first read what you get with it so here's what you get elementary cloud website with hosting built in you get google cloud platform powered web hosting with elementor and then you also get cdn by cloudflare content delivery network they have 200 plus locations from where they deliver your content to your visitors so that your website loads fast and your users get the right experience which is very good you also get to connect your custom domains with this which means you can connect any of your domains with this hosting but uh, if you don't want to use that you can always go ahead with their own extension which is elementor.cloud and in front will be your own url or whatever the keyword you want to use inside that url but everyone wants their own branded website and that's why we are all here so I'll be showing you how to connect the custom domain using the same in later part of this video. Now let's select CMS tool. These are the tools that you get with the cloud website of Elementor. And here you see WordPress pre-installed, which is pretty good. You get pre-installed web, uh, WordPress website with Elementor cloud. You don't have to go ahead inside your hosting and then download the WordPress to get started. You get it pre-installed with the Elementor Cloud website, which is saves you a lot of time. Now here is the best part, Elementor Pro features. With this subscription, you also get Elementor Pro, which is pretty good. Here you can see, enjoy total design freedom with Elementor Pro editing features. It is built in and includes all widgets, templates, website, kits and more. And then Hello Theme is free theme. It is included inside every Elementor Cloud website that you go ahead with. And the other stuff that you want to read, you can read by scrolling down. You get SSL certificate, daily backups, cyclog. And still, if you have any questions, you can always refer to the FAQ section. Every question has an answer. If you still don't find any answer, you can simply comment down below. I'll answer all your questions. So enough of that. You can refer to it. But let's now go ahead and get started. Let's click on get a cloud website. Let's click on buy now. And uh, here you need to supply your information. 
since I have the account with Elementor I'll just go ahead and click on login okay and uh, I'll finish these formalities and get back to you alright so I have bought the plan here you can see thank you for your purchase Pankaj we have sent an email with the next steps to tow my email ID I can simply go ahead and now click on start creating your website so here's what they ask you once you are done with the purchase and you click on start creating your website so you can give your website a name here so we have a restaurant here so I'll be using that Sharma food corner and click on next so my domain will look like this which is of course with the extension dot elementor dot cloud don't worry it, it will be changed i will be adding a custom domain later on so here it is your website domain will be this for now click on got it got it and click on next now from here you can select the type of websites you want here you have a choose a website kit to start with when i have all types food and drink all levels these are the results that i got so let's see what looks like the brand I have this one is pretty good let's start with this kit so you can see this might take a second we can simply edit the pre-built template that we got here and uh, we'll make it look like our own brand they are activating the Elementor Pro plugin on my dashboard now unboxing the drag and drop editor they are applying a basic theme basically they are finishing up the steps we don't have to do manually so you gotta wait for some time four out of four steps are completed within minutes so we are now waiting for the website to load so that we can go ahead and make the necessary changes before going live all right Tada! Your site is ready. Check your email for before, uh, details about signing in. Let's go. Okay, got it. So this is our dashboard, and here is that website. Let's open. Let's edit with Elementor, and let's also see how it looks in the front end. So here is that URL: Sharma Food Corner Elementor Cloud. Don't worry, we will change it to our own custom domain but right now it looks like this i can simply go ahead and edit these things to meet what i need so that it looks like my own brand each and everything you see over here can be changed so if you take a look at the back end of the website here is all the information that i showed you earlier as well if you want to open the dashboard you can open from here you can edit straight from here you can also manage the website from here and if you see we have a site lock on it means that your website can't be accessed by anyone until this site lock is on and it is a good practice but if you still want to access it from somewhere outside your machine you can still access it using a pin and that pin is provided by us the website owners get rid of the site lock when your website is ready to go live and I'll show you how to get rid of the site lock in coming videos but let's focus on the website that we have on hand so here is the live uh, here is the status of the website for now i went ahead and changed this main photo because this is the photo which is from our restaurant and you can also see we have changed the uh, title and this information you can do that from your end as well but first of all the main thing which we have to do right now is change the site logo here you can see we don't have any logo here to change the logo you can go to these three lines click on it and then click on site settings once you are inside site settings scroll down and here you can see site identity and choose the image of this dimension 350 into 100 pixels i created that just now so add logo first so let's upload the new logo that I created okay here it is 
always give a title and old text for the photo that you add in your library it is good for google indexing okay we have added the logo and now we need to go ahead and update it your changes have been updated is saying that so let's go back from here you can change the global colors of the website if you want to change the global colors around this website you can do that from here okay system colors custom colors everything is here if you want to add your own color you can add from here but i'll keep it as is because they are pretty much what i want from here you can access all the other options but we will go to do those options later on first of all let's see how i changed the photo here okay so when you are on the photo just click on it and you will see this handle click on it and inside the style from here you can choose the photo that you want here okay since i already have one but when you choose a photo choose select and then click on insert media it will appear here so the title simply just click here add it and on the left hand side just enter the information you want to enter see here and same goes for this one this is an h1 title this was just an h3 I'll make it H2 and same goes for the description click on this pencil icon and in left side you can enter the information now hit update once you enter that done now I need to get rid of some of the things from the header I don't want these things to appear in the header so let's click on edit header And here you can see our logo is appearing okay so i need to get rid of some of the things from the header here you can see it has its own pencil icon click on it and in the left hand side we have the menu and we can get rid of the menu by clicking on menu trees here we see this is menu one and i don't want menu to appear in the header section and then uh, we can also get rid of gallery from the header section and i just want these three things home about and contact us let's hit save menu while we are in the back end we should get two plugins right now i actually already have those plugins installed but i haven't activated them so those two plugins are smush and Yoast SEO. I'll activate Yoast SEO once my website is ready. But for Smush, we can activate it right now. Smush makes your websites load faster by compressing the images you have on the website. Let's now go back to our home page and see what else we need to get rid of. Let's get rid of this as well. Simply hit delete and this will go and see how our website looks like so this is what it looks like now we got rid of the extra items from the header menu we got rid of the make reservation menu and now this is a pop-up which can be customized and for that if i go to edit with elementor just click on discount pop-up and we can get rid of some of the things that we don't need from here and add what we need to add this is basically a photo which can be changed from here i have the photos which i can upload let's add this one like always let's give this old tag insert photo see it is appearing very well we can always change its margin so for that I need to go to advanced and let's unlock this and from bottom I can go 25 pixels up and from left we can go or maybe minus 25 
okay this looks good now if you want to decrease or increase the discount you can do that from here i'll give 10 percent off and on all items so this is what you see is what you get kind of editor now i can also get rid of these images because they are not relevant do that by clicking here done so this text can be edited and i'll do that later on and for learn more you can give the url where you want to send people to order this that's it all right here you can see 10 percent off learn more and if you don't want this pop-up you can always get rid of it by clicking here that's it so discount pop-up is gone so for the story of our restaurant we can edit this page from here we can add sharma food corner and we can decrease the font size so that it appears in one line if it is 45 we can change it to 30 or 35 maybe yeah 35 would be good that's it and now this can be changed later on when i add the section here information now this image we need to change choose image insert media looks fine to me now i need to get rid of the footer section so let's do that now let's click on footer and get rid of the stuff that i don't need and update my information okay here is the information facebook instagram those things can be added later on but the main part is monday to sunday timing okay we also need to change the phone number here so it's gonna be okay so now we have our header ready our footer ready and some of the content on the home page ready we can go and check how it looks like on the front end okay home about contact us sharma food corner famous cultures the story of sharma food corner and then this pop-up is also coming here is the story of food corner the weekly newsletter everything looks good for now we can continue working on this website mainly we are able to edit the pre-built templates if you are in a hurry you can always go ahead with pre-built templates or simply start from scratch there is option of that as well and in upcoming videos i'll show you that i have just used this pre-built to show you how it works i am going to work on sharpa food corner and i will have a standalone website and it will be done using elementor from scratch so you can take a look at that as well but right now you got the idea how to get your wordpress website ready with the elementor pro using elementor cloud website so now when they these people will contact you you will get an email and that email has to be valid email so put your email address here this is where you will get the notification about the people who contact you so make sure this email that you supply is the right email you can add multiple emails i'm going to add one more and hit update this is the subject line which will appear in the inbox when you get a notification from your website through email and now let's change the map location and for that let's click on this icon and here is the location information and let's copy this information and enter here okay our map is here now if i have to add more pages i can do that 
by clicking on new and here is the post and this is where is the page you can create as many posts and pages as you want but for now i'm good i have the store information the hours the logo all of that information is here now in upcoming videos i'll be making more changes to this website and i'll be adding a custom domain as well so do keep an eye on those videos but for now if you want to learn how to add custom domain for that you need to click on manage this website and then you will find the information that you need to add here are the only details you need from here dns records a record and c name these are the two values you will be provided and these two values can be used inside your domain registrar i suggest you to go ahead with a uh, name sheep Namecheap offers you domain privacy so I recommend you go ahead and choose Namecheap for registering your domain name and when you have the domain name ready just go to the DNS part of the domain and enter these two things a record and C name and you will be able to add custom domain just need to click here and these are the two values okay here you will be entering your domain name and then click add i'll be covering that in a separate video but this was just to give you the overview and for backups this is where the schedule is now as for the pin you can also reset pin from here as i told you earlier if somebody has to visit your website they need a pin here you can see this is the website but nobody can access it because they don't have the pin if i supply the pin here Let's copy this and enter. I'll be able to view here. Yeah. This is what the website looks like. Looks good already. We have to do plenty of changes here still, but right now it is looking good. I need to add menu in a next video. So if you have any questions let me know in comment section and go ahead with elementor's cloud website it is good it is offering you everything you have the ssl certificate already installed here and you have pre-built templates that you can edit and a lot of other things so do check that out and you will be able to create your website from scratch within hours and i'm always available through youtube you can contact me and i'll answer all your questions thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye